what is the thing that uh, was probably the hardest lesson that you ever learned that at the time was like, man, I hated this. But now you look back at it and it's like, that is such an amazing part of my foundation. Uh, not getting to play. Mm. I was, I was benched in college. Um, didn't think I deserved it, but it happened. And the guy that they replaced me with was my best friend, Casey Weldon. He ended up running, he ended up being the runner up to the Heisman. We were number one in the nation at the time. He's living my dream and, and I, best friends, but I still had to support him. And, um, and then the greatness of it too, with the coaches was I respected their decision for what they said, the reasons why. And I respected them as human beings. And coach Bowden was one of the all time legends of college football and coach Rick. He later became my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> He benched me now to a brother-in-law. So. <laughs> Do you still give it's him a really hard time? Do you still give uh, him a hard time about, about it? it? We laugh about it, but <laughs> th what there was was respect, you know? Yeah. And then Casey actually ended up being my backup in Washington. Wow. So it's funny how things go, but but I remember the thing I appreciated was there was only one spot to play as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. And it was a tough time, but I embraced adversity. I embraced like, I'm not ever going to let this happen again. I'm going to do whatever, whatever it takes to keep that position, keep that job. So, but I would, I tell you, embrace adversity, but that was a tough time in my life. And, and I got to be honest with you. So when that happened, when I got bitched in college, let me, let me show you something. So in my room, I'll, I'll show you real quick here. Okay. Yeah, so please I show tear it up. So, so this is, I'm in my ping pong room. So you can see a bunch of Larry Bird posters. Down yes. There. And I'm going to take you to the other end. These are life size. Can you see, can you oh, see yeah. down there? Yes. Okay. You see, you see two lifetime life size posters in there. So Larry Bird was my hero growing up as a kid, okay? And so when I got benched in college, I got this friend named T.R. Robinson. And so he just kind of he meets people. I don't know how he does it, okay? He met Larry Bird. And so I got this, about a week or two after I got benched, he, I got this letter in the mail. Here it is right here. So I hold it up so you can see it. Whoa. I had a frame. So I kind of hold it like that, okay? So I'm going to read you this letter real quick, okay? Yes, sir. So this letter says, Brad, <clears throat> just got off the I'm going to put the, so you read the Larry Bird so you can okay. so you see it back here a little bit. So you kind of <laughs> bring a little levity to it, okay? So then we'll kind of we'll do it like that. I'll read it to you right now. Okay. Good there to you show go. and tell? Yes. All right. It says, Brad, just got off the phone with TR. He had a little bit about life. He told me a little bit about life at Noland. I thought I'd relate this story to you. Remember when I kept hurting my foot, all the skeptics came out, but I kept on believing. Then I kept, then I came back and they said I was slower, wider, and uglier, but I kept on believing. It would have been easy to have called it a career, but looking back on it, I'm glad I kept on believing. So Brad, a little advice. There are a lot of people who believe in you. So keep, keep your head up, keep busting your tail, and always remember to keep on believing. Larry Bird. And so, you know, I got a letter from my hero, you know? And so at a time in my life when I'm ready to quit college football, like, where's my career going? I got nothing left. Like, what's, I mean, so I think it's important that no matter who you are, if you, what, what gets lost now is we will send each other a quick little text or something like that. But now the ability to write a letter or just an encouraging note to someone, it can impact someone's life, change their life and keep moving forward. And for him, it's keep on believing. I thought my career was over. I kept on believing. And, and so those moments that you go through tough times, like, Something better is coming. Something better coming. So just work and keep on believing for your goals and set goals and have a passion about it. And then everything will take place after that. So I would encourage people to you know, take a little time, write somebody a little note, just encourage someone.